it's time to jump into something a little bit more chilled out and relaxing the Honda Civic JTCC Inner Setter Corsa, which is a nice front wheel drive poodle mobile. Little bit more power than the Robin Reliant or the Reliant Robin. Um, but let's get in and give it a drive and uh, see how it goes. Using the H pattern for full, full authenticity. Seems to have a, a reasonably powerful engine. Or got to be, we've been uh, forced by a set of course to follow the speed limit. They've installed chips in all the cars. I don't want anyone speeding out of the pits. I hope they allow in the future for people to uh, break, the, break the rules. Because then I like to be a rebel. I can pretend to be a pirate while I was driving. This, let's, let's do a, let's power out. Let's uh, see how much grunt this has. Front wheel drive, so uh, no chance of losing control. <laughs> to third. Wheel spin from first, second, and then halfway through third. Of course, being front wheel drive, no no control or skill required. Having said that, front wheel drive cars do take uh, a massive amount of skill when it comes to actually getting those last fractions of a second uh, if you're you know if you're doing competitive racing with it. But that's the same with any car. It's always a challenge, even if it's an arcade game simulator. Or, or wheelbarrow simulator. It's always going to be hard being the best in the world at it. Oops. Apparently I don't know how to change gears. Logitech G G25H pattern to blame. Not me, of course. <laughs> Need to get the Thrustmaster shifter. This feels really good. Uh, the force feedback's totally different to the uh, real-world drive cars. This car feels a lot looser than the... Um, uh, a the a Bath 500, uh, I think that's what it's called. Chargo is having a little nap in the corner there. Joined on a sim race in Portugal server, and uh, he's, he's falling asleep. I think he's having dinner in his car. But yeah, this this feels really nice. The force feedback's really. Uh, I can f really feel the road textures, probably more than uh, than the real world, real rear wheel drive cars. Maybe because uh, I don't know if the set of course does the force feedback through the steering whack. Uh, steering whack? What am I talking about? Through the steering rack or like how it calculates it? Should really ask the developers because the force feedback in the set of course is fantastic. Let's try and do. I'm going to do one fast-ish lap, and then uh, and then I do one slidey lap. But I don't know how I'm going to slide this, but. Yeah, the, the force feedback and the loading is really fantastic. It can uh, The bumps are coming through the force feedback really precise and tight. And uh, the weighting of the car is awesome. That really sort of draws you in. It does feel... Okay, don't need to go down to a second for that. It does feel somewhat... Um, Strange playing on a screen again because I've been playing Live for Speed with the DK2 and going back from DK2 to a screen, it just feels really it's weird. <laughs> you get used to just looking around. Oh, a little bit of a slide there. It's all right, front wheel drive, gun the throttle, and you're, you're back on the track. I just uh, I really struggle to drive front wheel drive cars because there's I think you just have to be really smooth with them uh, and really defined in how you take the angles of the corners and the, the throttle. Of course you have to do that with a real wheel drive car, but it's just its own approach in terms of getting the most out of it. And uh, I, I'm, I much prefer real wheel drive cars. I, I just like that feeling of uh, balancing the car on the throttle and kind of steering the rear end and stuff. But I have to say... This is a really enjoyable front-wheel drive car. Not as good as the Robin Reliant, of course. That's that's the uh, nothing's going to get better than that. But this is good. I'd be really interested to see a, a full race with this. If you had a whole field of drivers, I'm sure it'd be absolute carnage. Although I don't think front-wheel drive cars are that good for new users in terms of getting them to grips with simulators because you can easily pick up bad habits and not learn how to control the rear. 
but it is re it really approachable and really easy. And of course, if you do start to slide, you can just go on the throttle and that recovers it. So if, you, if you're not particularly good at driving simulators, uh, it's a good car to get into races with. But I hope the servers don't just fill up with front wheel drive cars because then I'll have to... Oh, someone's joined the server. I'll have to cut my legs off if that happens. Let's throw this around a bit, see what we can actually do. It's really the, the force feedback when the uh, front tyres go over the threshold, uh, it goes really nice and loose. But before that happens, crucially, there's a good amount of feel and communication as to how much on the limit you are. So you can really drive this from the force feedback. The car seems really nice and stable. It, it doesn't seem to want to fall over or anything. Sometimes in simulators, front wheel drive cars have a habit of toppling. Let's wait for the other guy. See if he's... Uh... See if he wants to come and join the party. But the uh, the car model itself is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if it's... Uh... If it's scratch built or if it's a port. I should have really checked that before jumping in. I guess he doesn't want to drive. But it's a really good mod. I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing AC with the Oculus Rift because I just want to look around all the car models and sort of admire the details a bit more. I mean, you can really see, even from the view that's on the screen now, the the way the lighting's playing on the dashboard and the the quality of the car interior. It's just really nice. The car is, it is really stable. I think if if you do like front wheel drive cars, then this is a it is a fantastic front wheel drive car. I think um, the the Mini was really popular in GTR Evo. I remember the the Mini servers would always be full, and that was a really good fun car to drive. I think the Mini was really popular in game stock car as well, but I never really played that too much. This is sort of along the same lines. I'll try and do a bit of a front wheel drive front wheel drive drift there. You really do have to throw a front-wheel drive car <laughs> to get it to slide. I did that on purpose. I was just testing the uh, the the uh, st the strength of the door. But that is that's it, really. I mean, what else? Can, what what more can I say? Uh, the Honda Civic JTCC. Oh, we're fading to black for some reason. Really good. So uh, download it straight away. You can uh, I'll, I'll put a link to it under the comments. I'm going to check out some other some other AC content. Um, have a little break from the from the Oculus Rift, but absolutely fantastic. The guys that put this together. I'll put more links to details in the video comment. As I say, thanks for watching and goodbye.